Guys, make sure... <coughs> hey guys, it's Candace. And James from the Edgy Veg. Since our engagement, we have been more and more interested in our family history and have wanted to do a DNA test for a really long time just to learn about where both of our backgrounds are from, where our parents are from, where our grandparents came from. Yeah, I think it's really important to know about your background and your heritage. And we have both traveled to where we know our dominant heritages are from, but I think it'd be really cool to find out more about really distant stuff. And that's why we are so excited to be collaborating with Anne Ancestry who's sponsoring this video to take a DNA test and figure out where in the world we come from. All right, so let's just do this saliva sample first and then we can get the paperwork out of the way after. Part one is to take your sample kit out of the container. You're gonna fill the sample tube with your saliva to the black wavy line, which is really weird that I'm doing this on camera. So I have to fill up to the spit one. The spit to here. Okay then. Is that enough? You filled it over the fill line. Where do I pour it out? No, don't pour it there. No, can't. Oh, that's gross. Guess what, guys? I got our Ancestry DNA results today. This is actually really exciting. I'm totally stoked for this. I know that my mom's from Germany, and I know that my dad's side of the family is from England. And I know that my family is Syrian, English, with some French and Scottish and a little bit of Turkish, but let's see if there's more than that that Ancestry found. Drum roll, please. All right, you are 17% Italy, Greece. Italy, Greece. 17% Middle East. 12% Iberian Peninsula. 11% Ireland. 7% Scandinavia. 7% Europe West. 11% Caucasus. Caucasus. You're like a mutt. They stay within all the regions that I thought, so that's actually pretty cool. The part that surprises me is Ireland. I would have thought that it was Scottish and English. Okay. Candace Hutchings, that's me. Okay, 57% Great Britain, 30% Europe East. So I'm, I'm white, like cake eating European white. <laughs> Where did the Europe East come in? Well, Europe East means like all the Slavic countries, right? Like Yeah, like, like Russia, Ukraine, Romania. Let's take one hour and each come up with a recipe based on what we both just learned. Challenge accepted. All right guys, I decided to do a Turkish recipe inspired by the fact that my results showed that 17% of my DNA comes from the Middle Eastern part of the world. I'm making la majun, which is a traditional Turkish pizza. It's just like an Italian pizza, except it's spicier. It's got a real thin cracker-like crust and no cheese. The base of this pizza is this beautiful crust, so let's get that made first. While we wait for our dough to rise, I am going to make the meat topping. Obviously, it's not real meat. This is a vegan channel, so that wouldn't be cool. We are using ground round, but it looks and tastes just like meat, so I call it meat. Here we go!
The oven's preheated to 475 and we're gonna put this bad boy in there for eight minutes. While we wait for that in the oven, let's make the yogurt sauce. I love yogurt. Normally, I eat yogurt on the Lama June, but my fiance will not let me have regular yogurt inside the thing. So we had to make vegan yogurt, but also I like to put garlic in it because Mediterranean people love garlic. I am from Syrian family, as we know, because this is a ancestry video. Everyone in my family speaks like this and I know what it sounds like. All right, this baby's ready. Let's do this. Oh yeah, look at that. This is beautiful. Oh, it smells perfect. This is gonna be so good. Now we have our beautiful lamajun and we're ready to eat them. Mmm. This is way better than the store bought stuff that you've bought before. This is so good. Oh, and there's a kick. It's a little bit spicy. Oh, these are so good. Okay, I'm taking this and I'm gonna go now because it's my heritage. So I'm gonna go eat it. Bye. Love you. I chose to do recipe inspired by the fact that 30% of my DNA is Eastern European. I went with Hungary specifically because a lot of their meals are very meat heavy and I'm up for a challenge. I decided to go with goulash, a very traditional Hungarian stew that has also crossed over into many of the other Eastern European countries. All right guys, let's give this dish of my heritage a try. Mmm. good? Yeah, it's really good. You definitely have to try that. Goulash is one of my favorite dishes in the world. Oh yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Wow, you know what, that was really nice. To try new food of like different cultures. I'm really glad we did that. Guys, make sure you check out Ancestry DNA for yourselves. They've got the largest online collection of family trees, historical records, and DNA in the world. Plus, it's just cool to check out where your family history's from. And they're having a huge holiday sale. You can get this as an awesome gift for a loved one for $20 off plus shipping. I know I'm definitely gonna buy this for like everyone on my Christmas list. You should get it for my mom. She will totally love this. It's a great idea. If you guys wanna check out Ancestry DNA, I've left all the links in the description box below and I highly encourage that you do. Click on those down there. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and in the comments section below, let us know what your background is. Oh, and guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any of the awesome recipes that we make here, just like these. And the bell notification too. Bye! Bye.